In my opinion, I have finally cracked the code on how to dress the way I like, not feel like I'm wearing a costume, and not look like a stupid idiot. This is part one of my favorite fall fits where I'm going to show you like six outfits, but there's a twist. Each outfit will have one of the greatest thrifting scores I have ever had, from the perfect wool sweater to the best denim jacket I've ever held in my life, besides my own brand. We also have pants that make me look like a girl from 2008 and other cool things. Hello everyone, it's Michael, back with another Iron Snail video. This is the first outfit. It's the most basic outfit. This is a thrifted sweater from Savile Row, which I will talk about in a second. These are Dickie's pants, and of course, frat cap shoes. I hope you're all doing well, by the way. I know we're in my apartment again. It's because the past week, We've been shipping prologue jackets out like crazy. Isn't that right, Taylor? Okay, it's not the best outfit for this jacket, Taylor says, but check this out. This is a painter jacket from the brand Painter, which is very nice. I very like it. Like I said, this is an incredibly basic outfit, but there are two things that make it special. A thrifted piece and then these shoes. To me, these shoes always make an outfit go from regular to a little spice. So even if you just wear the most plain outfit like I'm wearing right now, they show a little bit of personality of who you are. But the other thing is this sweater. This sweater stuck out to me for a few reasons. The fact that the knit of the sweater is so beautiful and it has a little bagginess to it, everything looks loose and comfortable, relaxes the style completely, and looks unique. And on top of that, a detail that no one will ever see unless they are taking your sweater off, which in that case is this loose white stitching around the cuffs, around the neck hole. And I don't know why I really like that. The stitching is messy, but lately, with clothes, I've been liking things that don't look perfect, which again, we'll get into that Wrangler jacket from the 60s. I like that you can see imperfection in clothes, which brings up one more point before we get to the next outfit. And that point is that when you're wearing clothes like this, Dickies, barber jackets, old sweaters and stuff, they always look better when you live in them, when you wear them very heavily. And a perfect example of that is Buck Mason's collaboration with Eddie Bauer, which I will be buying one of their jackets tonight for a video. But in the sample pictures, they artificially aged the jacket to show how cool it looks over time. And I think with basically everything besides hyper trendy clothes, if they are broken in and worn down a little bit, they look a million times cooler. Next up, this is truly an outfit that I never thought I would ever wear. I hated things like this in my hand. This is the L.O. Bean Northwoods shirt. It is unbelievable. This is a perfect example of what L.O. Bean used to be, and it is insane. But the reason I would not normally wear it, and let me tuck in my shirt. You'll notice in the B-roll, I didn't tuck in my shirt. Always tuck in your shirt. Now, the reason I normally stayed away from pieces like this were because they are extremely long. I am not a very tall person, and I also don't usually like shirt jackets a ton because I feel like they go right down the middle. I like a jacket or a shirt. This is both. With the shirt tucked in, I feel like the incredibly long over shirt, especially if it's a beautiful vintage CPO shirt, works beautifully. So very casual outfit. These are Glenn's denim, Glenn Selvage denim jeans. Made in New York City by Glenn. I don't know who Glenn is. I've never met him before, but he was Levi's master tailor for New York and he started his own business and his jeans are insane. I got these hemmed recently, so they fit me really well. I wouldn't wear jeans if I was going out on an intense hike or something like that, but I would wear the CPO wool shirt no problem. And of course, the other thing you could do if you really want to look like you're chilling is unbutton the cuffs. Boom. Huge difference in your day-to-day -day life. In a sip of water, it'd be easy for me. Why make some really cool stuff in New York, which I really wow. like. Michael, where'd you get that jacket? People ask me this question all the time. Where'd you get that shirt? Where'd you get those pants? Where'd you get those socks? Don't you know by now that everything I talk about in a video, I put in carrot, and I also use carrot to save up to 90% on anything that I buy? It's having 80 tabs open on your computer because you're afraid of losing something, that's not cool anymore. You can just make a collection by downloading the carrot app or installing the extension on Google Chrome on your computer. No more tabs, no more mess. Now, what about saving 90% off of anything you buy? Coupons, another thing not sexy anymore with AI. Carrot's deal hop feature uses its robot eyes to scan the image or whatever you're shopping for and find you the best possible deal on the internet. It's sick. Holidays are just around the corner, so why not find the best possible deal when you're shopping for Timmy, Wendy, Missy, Sydney, whoever it may be, and add everything into a collection along the way so you never lose track of it. Thank you, Carrot, for sponsoring this video. You can download or install the app or extension today. I got this really cool dead stock navy black sweater, but it's too small. And then when I put it on with this outfit, I, I look like I was gonna slap the foam off your latte. What I am wearing is something I saw another guy wearing while we were on a film shoot one day. And that is 
vintage Boy Scout shorts, but I got the pants instead. I got them hemmed, to be honest. The tailor, I wish he left like an inch more so there was a break in these. I wish they were a tiny bit longer, but I really like vintage Boy Scout pants, I guess. I think they look great. I love the pocket over here. They're wide enough. And then finally, on the top here, this is actually from one of my favorite Japanese brands. This is FOB, F-O-B, Factory. I wore their pullover in a different video. This specifically is their moleskin short coat, which I really like. I love moleskin. I need to wash it because it's very stiff right now and it looks a little too stiff. I'd also probably size up. But I actually, a brand sent this to me for free and that brand is Haku Clothing. They also sent me the pullover for free. They said if you want to buy it, you can use this coat Code. Mick underscore hack one. Customers with this code will receive a 10% discount on both the denim pullover jacket from the last time and the moleskin jacket we sent this time. Thanks. They also are having a Black Friday sale where basically everything on the website is 20% off. So outfit number three. I really wish these pants were longer because I feel like they'd flow better when I was walking around, but that's all right. Okay, I specifically decided not to get these pants hemmed and I, don't, I just feel like for some reason I like the break on these. They look much more relaxed when they're not hemmed perfectly. I might hem them eventually. Here is where we get serious. This is a Wrangler jacket from the 19... 80s, which in my opinion, this Wrangler silhouette, this style of Wrangler jacket is incredibly underrated. But to me, this is one of the coolest silhouettes of all time. Then we'll get to the Ralph Lauren denim jacket at the end, which may beat it, but it's close. It doesn't have a lot of yellowing. It does have some decent wear. There's some honeycombs. It's a beautiful, very bright shade of blue. There's beautiful wear along the cuffs. And there is this patch. NAUI qualified scuba diver safety thorough education. And I just love that. I eat it up with a spoon like it was. So I thought this patch was extra cool. Little cherry on top and with all the rust on the buttons it looks like the guy that had this before me actually went scuba diving in the jacket himself. This next outfit is actually very special to me because the first time I put it on I think was also the first time I ever impressed my girlfriend Taylor in my entire life. She said to me and I quote, I'm nervous to talk to you. Then later she said, wow you look cool. Then after that she said, can you wear this in front of my friends? Then she said, can you wear this outfit every day? And then I said, what's wrong with my outfits? Taylor, are you kidding me? And she said, no babe, I love your other outfits. I just think, and then I cut her off and I said, you think I'm ugly, don't you? You think I'm ugly and you wish I looked more like Daniel Simmons. Who's da That's the joke. I thought you said you couldn't hear me in there. You but look you cool. Can you? That. What do you're you mean? You're so cool. I, you look so cool. Yeah, you were you were really all over me. The buttons keep on popping. Oh dear. On a more serious note, this is the first time I have ever worn something so baggy. This is the baggiest outfit I've ever worn. That seems to be very hot right now. It's very trendy, but it was also trendy like 80 years ago. So it's not like it will ever be completely out of date, but I can take a full step before I touch the top of my pants. These are vintage wool trousers that I thrifted online. I know nothing about them besides the fact that the wool was apparently a virgin when these pants were made. So yeah, I actually really like it. So much so that I used these pants on a different outfit I wore yesterday when I saw Conan O'Brien on tour. But this is what I wore and we're gonna introduce another piece, probably my favorite if not my second favorite piece. This is a vintage-ish 100% virgin wool sweater from the brand Jockey. Vintage scratchy wool sweaters, which this is not the scratchiest, it's kind of on the mid-ground, are usually bulletproof. You can wear them through anything. So I do think this could be a good outfit in and of itself and before we get to the final coolest jacket, I also have this jacket which admittedly I can't even wear it with this sweater. It doesn't fit me as well as the 1980s Wrangler. I think I would probably just have to go a size up. But this is a 1960s Wrangler jacket. And like I said, I should size up one. I know it's a tiny bit too small, but what I really like about this jacket, one, it's selvage, which I think is amazing. Two, it's not broken twill, which is a signature of Wrangler, but came, I think, in the 80s? I may be wrong about that. And being made in the 60s, like look at the tag, for example. The tag is not sewn on perfectly. The stitching goes through the W on Wrangler. It's a little off. I just, the bar tacking isn't bar tacked because if I'm recalling correctly, bar tacking was not a very common practice. So it's kind of this janky bar tack, not the really tight modern ones we see today. Regardless, I thought that was amazing. But then we have the creme de la creme. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren jacket with a beautiful red check wool lining. Absolutely gorgeous. It is too big for me. I'm gonna tell you that before I even put it on, but it's fantastic. There's so many cool details like this dry clean care tag, I guess you could say, in the corner that's stitched on that matches the classic polo logo. And it has pockets that I've been 
eating up, slurping up, that I have called Dump Dump Pockets. Taylor hates that name, she thinks it's disgusting, but I love Dump Dump Pockets and I will never let up with that. And the reason I actually really love them is because this wallet, by the way, which is a prototype iron snail wallet, I could stick it in the Dump Dump Pocket, and maybe this isn't the best example because it doesn't stick out of my pocket, but if I stick something tall in this pocket, like this is my passport, my sister gave me this holder, it sticks out a little bit. And obviously that's, you know, it's not the safest thing when you're walking around New York City, probably not the smartest idea, but I think it just adds a cool factor, having like a field notes popping out here. Or yesterday, this is sparkling water. Taylor and I got sparkling waters after the Conan show, and she put hers in my Dump Dump Pocket and it just balanced perfectly and I thought it looked incredibly cool as I walked around with a bottle in my pocket. Is that a bottle in your pocket or are you just having to But either way, this is by far the coolest jacket that I found. I wish it was perfectly my size, but this is a jacket I will keep for life, especially with these giant pants. Whew! Anyways, that about wraps it up, but I will see you all very, very soon on the next video where we finally get to go outside. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Sorry, I forgot this part yesterday when I was filming. These are the pants that make me look like a girl from 2008, but they don't. They actually look, they look great. I uh, don't know why I thought that when I originally tried them on. Vintage Wranglers.